It was a night like no other, the kind where the moon hung low and heavy in the sky, shrouded by a thick blanket of eerie fog. The salty tang of the sea lingered in the air as I stood on the deserted docks, staring at the ominous silhouette of the ship before me. They called it the Phantom's Lament, a cursed vessel known only through legends whispered among the superstitious locals. Tales of vanished sailors and ghostly apparitions had haunted these waters for generations. Yet, against my better judgment, I had come to investigate the rumors that had piqued my curiosity. With each step I took, the creaking of the weathered wooden boards beneath my feet sent shivers down my spine. The ship loomed before me, its dark skeletal frame casting a foreboding shadow over the dock. A cold breeze seemed to beckon me aboard, and against all reason, I obeyed. The moment I set foot on the deck, an unsettling chill coursed through my veins. The ship was eerily silent, devoid of all sign of life or the usual sounds of a seafaring vessel. The lanterns flickered with ghostly light, casting long sinister shadows that danced upon the rotting wood. As I ventured deeper into the ship, I encountered strange sights. Tables set for an abandoned feast, candles still burning with an ethereal flame, and empty tattered chairs, as though the crew had vanished mid-dinner. The walls seemed to pulse with an unnatural energy, and the air grew heavy with a sense of sorrow. Then I heard it, a very faint wailing that seemed to emanate from the very bowels of the ship. It was the chorus of anguished voices, the cries of the lost souls who had once sailed on this accursed vessel. Their lamentations echoed through the empty corridors, pulling my heart with dread. In a daze, I descended into the depths of the ship compelled by an irresistible force. There, in the belly of the ghostly behemoth, I found a chamber bathed in an eerie ghostly light. In its center lay a tattered journal, its pages filled with the harrowing accounts of those who had met their doom on this very ship. As I read their final entries, the ship itself seemed to come alive with restless spirits. Ghostly figures beckoned me to join them, to become part of their eternal crew their icy hands reaching out, grasping at my soul. With a scream, I tore myself away from their grasp and fled back to the deck. The ship groaned and creaked as I leaped from the deck onto the dock, stumbling to safety just as the cursed vessel began to fade into the fog, disappearing from sight. I knew then that I had narrowly escaped a fate worse than death. The legend of the Phantom's Lament had proved all too real. The haunted souls that dwelled within would forever haunt my nightmares. As I watched the last trace of the ghost ship vanish into the mist, I vowed never to tempt fate again. For some mysteries are better left unexplored, and the cursed ship that sailed into the unknown was one of them. Hello, 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 spooky people! How do we feel about this one. This is the beautiful build for our prompt. Board the ghost ship and sail into the unknown. And now I do have to admit, I have done a ghost ship in my days. <laughs> I, I did it for Will It, uh, Will it Spooky. I can link that in the cards. Uh, it should pop up like <laughs> right now. I don't know. <laughs> um, and I think this time I did so much better. I did so much better, I think, in my opinion. Well, <laughs> you know, I'll let you judge that. But I personally am very happy with how the ship turned out. I'm kind of, I'm kind of very much vibing with it. It's kind of, it's like, you know, it's looking good. I am very happy with the decisions that I made. Also my little mini impromptu code making, you know, the wooden codes. I like it, slay, very, very good, looking very good. And I was also kind of thinking when you'll see me try and build the outside. Um, the the winter grass and bush just pretend they're waves crashing on the stones yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> good now that we have that out of the way like i didn't know how else to how else to blend the water coat into the actual ocean i tried 
I tried, okay, guys, I tried. And I think I think it turned out very great on the outside. We also have the little crab on the barrel. Yes, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I love them. I love the little details. Also, yet again, using the the barbells. No, it's not barbell, is it? The kettlebells, sorry, as the cannonballs. Because I see a lot of people using the humongous, huge ass gymnastics balls, but they don't they're not the vibe. No, no, no. I like the tiny ones more because they look like they could actually be a cannonball. So my brain was braining today. <laughs> but yes, I really, really hope that you enjoyed this. I really hope that you enjoy my little ghosty ghost chip. Also, I hope that you enjoy the inside because it's slay in my opinion. But with that being said, I hope that I will see you guys for tomorrow's prompt. And until then, I suggest you stay spooky, people.
Thank you.